Hey, hey. Come on in. We'll get started in a few minutes. We won't be before you long. Come on in and say hi. So, tell me where you all are from. Okay, here's Tiffany. Let me let her in. And let me. Hey, 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 Tiffany. What's going on? Nothing. Waiting for our people to join. Waiting for you to come on. All right. I'm going to put the pin in the comment. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to, uh, I was about to do. I was like, make sure we get the comment pinned in there. How you doing, everybody? Yes. Let us yeah, know where it. you're from. Okay, thank you. Type in the Happy chat. Happy Monday. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what day it is. Happy Monday. Been a Monday, that's for sure. Been a long Monday. Monday is Monday and today. <laughs> hey, Sacred Wounds. Yes. Y'all, so <laughs> tonight, 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 we are talking about the importance of organizing your beauty business, hair business. Yes. So. Because it's, it's ne very necessary. <laughs> right. And uh, I just got to a story to share because I, I was just sitting here thinking about that like man what am I going to share tonight well, I was like I'm going to share it well, come on with it <laughs> what are we working with um, oh, so before I get into that um, I just want to make sure we introduce ourselves so for those of you that don't know me um, so I'm trichologist Precious Rutland and what I do is I teach hairstylists and consumers like my eight phase hair regrowth system so that they can have healthy hair so what I find is is that you're not being consistent and don't have a steady regimen as far as like your hair and healthy gr hair growth that impacts uh, everything that you do as far as like what you're looking for. And so there's just been so much on how, you know, the stylists, the barbers, we're the forefront and we're seeing clients, you know, at the start of when they're experiencing hair and they're not able to um, direct them you know, it's soon enough to start getting help. And so I'm starting the movement where we're getting a f in front of this and taking a more preventive measure uh, to help our clients and consumers. Tiffany. Okay. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining. I am Tiffany Nicole. I am a certified hair loss specialist. What I do is I help women recreate the hair that they love, right? Um, if they're experiencing hair loss, what I do is provide non-surgical hair replacement solutions for them. And, you know, the goal is to make it look as natural as possible. Give them the hair they used to have maybe, you know, months or a couple of years ago. Um, that is what I do on the consumer side. And for beauty professionals, I am a cosmetology career coach. I help you grow your business from graduation all the way up to grand opening. So we are here tonight to talk to the beauty professionals and just talk about why it is important to have your business organized. We have to get this back in organized. organized. It's necessary. <laughs> right. You're not doing business if you're not organized, period. 
And um, so before we get into that, if you look in the comments for those that are interested, we are doing a workshop that's coming up in December. I want to say it's December 4th. And so essentially mm -hmm. what we're doing, it's going to be, uh, I believe it's a two hour, three hour workshop. And we're doing a deep dive with you so you can be prepared going into 2023 setting up your business so that you can make the income that you want to make and be able to service the, your current clients and get your new clients. Did I forget anything? Anything else you want to add? No, you, you covered it. I mean, that's just it. We want to help you get your business set up for next year so you can go into the new year with your back end organized and you'll be able to see how your business is doing. You'll be able to see what position you are in um, with your business, what you can and cannot do, where you need to, you know, focus your energies on at any particular time because you will be organized. So you'll be able to view the information, the analytics. Yes, definitely. So we definitely got it jam packed. We even got like some prerequisites, so some work to do. So that way, when you show up to the workshop, we going in working with you guys individually, so you can be set up. Because um, that's one of the things that I wish I had ahead. Like when I first got into being the cosmetologist, mm -hmm. it's like I didn't have people like to really show me the ins and out and how to set up my business. Uh, and it's like now, like I'm creating that type of stuff like that I wish I had of had. So definitely take advantage, um, you all. Hey, Monet, thanks for joining. <laughs> But yeah, ah, thanks everybody for coming in. We see you all coming. Come on in. Yeah, so um, again, so like Tiffany said, so tonight's topic was about um, definitely organizing your beauty business. And so one of the stories that I wanted to share, and I was kind of like, dang, should I share this? Should I not? It's kind of like you should know better. Like you, you've been doing this for how long? You ain't got it together. So one of the things that would um, bother me is because like when I first started out in business, like I wasn't making that much income. And so whenever it came as far as like tax time, I would always be dragging my feet and gathering up all of my papers, gathering up all the information for the tax repair. Like it was just because of a humdrum because like I didn't make the profit throughout the year that I wanted. So then it was like, you know, just going through this whole mental ego thing going on, like I should know better or I made the money. Then I didn't know where the money went and it was just being embarrassing. And so, mm -hmm. uh, but when I had to step aside and really put my CEO hat on and start looking at the numbers and like really cracking down like okay mm -hmm. if I want to make a living out of this and this is my career and this is how I'm taking care of my family then I need to pull it together and so that was like one of the biggest lessons uh for me as far as like you know just keeping up with the paperwork so then I had to start thinking about okay what can I do to make this easier so every time it comes around for tax time, I'm not scrambling? So then that's when I started getting organized and started doing, I guess, like monthly instead of waiting to the year end to go back and calculate transactions and how much I spent on the mm -hmm. Like I started breaking it down monthly. And then when I seen I was falling off monthly, I started making myself do it every week. So that way that I knew, like I, I designated and made myself sit down. I think my days are like Sunday. So I make myself sit down and just write, out, okay, what did I spend this week? What did I do with supplies? You know, who did I pay? What did I do? So once I began to do that, it made me become um, more easier per se. And it got easier. Like I didn't dread because now it's like, okay, now I'm able to pinpoint where I need to make change in my business, what I need to do different in order to hit my goals, my financial goals. Absolutely. Absolutely. That knowing your numbers is the most important thing in business. 
in addition to knowing our numbers, though, we, ha we have to understand the cycles of our clients, how often they're coming, how much, you know, their average ticket is. All of these things contribute to, you know, tracking the finances because we need to know what's performing well. You know, um, what services do we need to bump up? Maybe we need to promote something more. Or maybe, you know, we want to bring something else in. And is it, you know, going to complement services we already have? Or are we going to just, you know, totally pivot and switch out into something else? So all of that data is in the numbers, right? Not just your financials, but also, you know, your client reports, your client database is going to tell you these things too. So, you know, we just want to make sure to show you how to, how to put systems in place to track those things so that you can make better decisions, you know, when you're thinking about doing different things in your business. And like Precious was saying about your financials, that's definitely going to help. I know you guys hear people talking about business credit all the time. Yeah. That's not our lane, but it's important, right? So the things that we're going to show you will help you have your paperwork in order for when you go to, you know, try to acquire funding and things like that. So we're, we're not here to teach business credit, but yeah. the things that we're going to put in place for you, help you put into place will help you be able to better secure it when the time comes. Yeah, you was talking you know, and, I, and just, I lost train of thought. It was something else I wanted to <laughs> follow up on and share with them. It was real good too. It'll come Do you guys have me. any questions? Like, are you are you all tracking your, um, you know, the life cycle of your client? Put a one in the comment if you are, if you know what that is and if you are actually doing that. Oh, that's what. So, yeah. So while you guys are doing that, that's what it was that I was thinking about. So, um, you know, now is the time to decide. So Tiffany just brought up a good point, like looking at your services and seeing like what really does well like what really brought you in the most money for this year so then like um by you knowing your numbers or what can what can you add to bump up a client's ticket like she was uh, mentioning so like you want to jot those things down so that way if you want to do a price increase going into the new year starting January, like now is the time that you want to start letting your clients know so they can be prepared. Cause mm -hmm. you, the last thing you want to do is just pop up and then January come or their first service comes of the year. And you're like, Oh yeah, well, by the way, I increased my, my services or your price. And now, you know, I was getting this, uh, mm -hmm. natural, uh, wash is set for 65 and now it's you know 95 like you got to be able to prepare people and tell them up front so they can know how to plan and budget um, but you mm -hmm. really need to you would know those things by tracking uh, you know how your services perform during the year and what more you know who your clients tell okay what was the most things that they bought um, and then a uh, plan accordingly so, I, I mean, I thought that was really good just because, like, again, that was something else that I didn't know. <laughs> and I, I had to find out on the job, per se, learning. So, again, Most of it we did. that we're, <laughs> me and Tiffany, talking about and implement, guys, this is like free game here. So, you can only imagine, like, what the workshop is going to be like. But, man, just... <laughs> Just take what we're giving you here. You can run with it. Just that's what we give you. So how are you all communicating with your clients? Do you use social media mm -hmm. to communicate with your clients or do you use something else? You know, we all had the glitch was going on just a couple of weeks ago. I know you all remember um, earlier up in the year when it was just down, people's accounts were just down for no reason. So this can't be like your only um, communication with your clients. So we are going to actually talk about that and the best ways to do it. Um, and actually, you know, go through some flows to help you communicate effectively with your clients. And that, that's a good point. I still... Um, even with my private one-on-one -on -one clients, like I still always try to figure out what's the best way with them because everybody is busy. And then one of the things that I uh, used to bother me is that like not everybody checks their email. So 
it's like, well, Dag, I need to just start moving over to text message because, like, I think people are going <laughs> to be able to answer their text. Yep. Sacred woman. That's what Kenyatta's saying. Okay. She uses email and text marketing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because different clients, like Precious is saying, respond to different things. And they're more than likely, most of them are on both lists. So if they miss it in one place, they'll catch it in another one. Yeah, so that was one of the things. You know, nowadays they have, like, analytics. Like, e I think even on the free emails, like MailChimp and so forth, like, you can open up to see, you know, how many people are actually open up your email. Are they actually um, being responsive? Mm -hmm. So that's another way you could mm -hmm. tell, like, who's paying attention to your emails is just, like, ask them a question so they can respond back to you. And that just shows your customers that and your clients that you know you're interested in you're invested yes in them too and that's a, a part of what we've been talking about and what we're also be teaching on the client customer journey so. that's big <laughs> that's big <laughs> there's so many components to it and i really want to hone in on that when we get into the um class we did a training just a couple of weeks ago and you guys missed it mm -hmm. so um there will be a short recap of that because the information is somewhat the same but we are going to just go really deep into um the customer journey and the um you know the back end paperwork so we just want to make sure that everybody is set up to be successful in their business Next year in 2023, everybody's planning, you know, go um, vision board parties and things like that. We actually want to get to the work and, you know, get your business set up. The vision parties is cool. You know, that's fine. But that's not what's going to help you make decisions in your business, whether you should, you know, stay in the location you're at, add more, add a team, things like that. These are some of the things that you will be able to decide once your back end is set up and you can see how the customers flow, how your finances flow and things like that. So we just wanted to um, come in and drop some of that on you and see where you guys were at. I see a couple of people, you know, are communicating with their customers outside of social media. And that mm -hmm. is just the best thing. It because social media it pops off when they want to you say something wrong you you know you can't go live they take you you know they take your different functions and features away you know if you don't adhere to the ever changing rules they they are always changing right there's always an update so you need to be able to have um some form of communication that you can control Absolutely. Um, did we have anyone drop in the chat? Like, um, just curious, like, what are some of the things that you're doing to help you keep your beauty business um, organized? Like, is there a specific, like, software or tool that you like to use? Maybe Style C, um, anything like, what are you guys using to keep organized? I can't tell. I don't know if my, my screen froze or not. Oh, okay. You got to scroll down. And we had a few more people join. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Linda. How are you? Thanks for joining. Okay. I cannot see. Hey, Kinky Controller. Hey, how you doing? Yes. So if you guys have any questions that you want to drop, um, there's a little question mark right next to the comment box. You want to drop your questions in there so we can answer them. That'll be good. Because when these comments come through, sometimes we can't see them all, especially with the split screen. It's a little harder. So we don't want to miss anybody's questions. If you have one, just drop it right in that little question, um, question mark box. Yep. Um, and then so I'll go ahead while we're waiting on you guys to drop. So I'll, I'll just introduce myself. Um, so this is your time coming in. My name is psychologist Precious Rutland. And so I teach um, hairstylists as well as consumers my eight phase hair regrowth system so that they can have healthy hair. Uh, what I've been finding is, you know, that barbers and stylists, um, you know, we're the forefront as far as helping the clients. We're going to see their hair loss or hair issues uh, before it even starts to get worse. And so it's like uh, 
like the trichologists, like or the dermatologists, like the clients, like we're always like the last ones that people come to uh, for their hair. So what we're doing is we're reaching out to you all, training you up as the professional, the hairstylist, uh, and really giving you the tools and knowledge um, that you'll need to be able to service your clients um, and help to uh, take a holistic and preventative approach against hair loss. <laughs> There's always something going on around me. Oh, okay. Do you want to introduce yourself, Tiffany? Tablet was falling down. My tablet was falling down. I had to oh. catch it. I had to oh. catch it. <laughs> I don't want to have to have to add this to my financials when I replace it. Oh, right. <laughs> so if this is uh, for those of you that are just coming in or if this is your first time joining us, I am Tiffany Nicole. I am a certified hair loss specialist, also a cosmetology career consultant. Mm -hmm. um, I help women uh, recreate the hairlines that they that they love, you know, the hairline that they had maybe months ago or a couple of years ago when they're experiencing hair loss and are ready to go on and, you know, spruce up their image. So that is how I help the consumer behind the chair. I help beauty professionals grow their businesses from graduation all the way to grand opening. Um, I offer a hands-on braiding certification course. I also help you all set up your back end. So, um, yeah, this is why we're here. And we have come together to collaborate on a uh, workshop in December, setting your business up for 2023. The link is right there um, in, the, in comments. the comments. So if you want to go, yeah. Did you pin it? No, you pinned it earlier. I said, do you want me to pin it? Okay, let me try. Let me see. I'll pin yeah, it. Yeah, I can't pin it because you started. It's, oh. it's on your platform. Okay. So I can't pin it. Okay, just a second. Here you go, guys. At least it wouldn't. Okay. Hey, Shy Styles, how you doing? Hi. Well, so yeah, we so are right going now. to um, save this one for a replay. I see a few people are coming in at the end of. Um, we're pretty much wrapping up, but we are so happy that you joined. If you go and watch the replay, leave the comment replay, and you, if you have any questions, we will come back you know, and answer those questions. There it is. <laughs> yeah, and so we were just inviting you all, for those that are coming on, definitely check out um, our event, our three-hour workshop that we have coming up. It's going to be on December 4th, and we're really going in, helping you as the stylist, the barber, beauty professional, whatever you are, getting you set up for your 2023. Um, so we're going to be going into a deeper dive as far as like your pricing structure, what you need to do to build your clientele, how to properly conduct uh, you know, a client consultation, you know, learn the difference between a client and a customer. Um, you know, so mm -hmm. we're going to be dropping all kinds of nuggets here. Uh, but uh, Tiffany and I Absolutely. did mention some great gems Absolutely. even during this live just here. So go back, uh, listen to the replay, um, and you can start running and implementing some of these things right now um, that we're dropping. But we definitely love to see you all in December. I don't think I've seen any questions. I'm going back. Okay. Well, we are um, going to be here on next Mondays. Week. We will mm -hmm. be going live on Mondays between both platforms, between um, Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can know where we're going to be at and what we're going to be talking about. So we want to thank you all again for joining. Um, I don't think I see any questions or anything. But, okay, guys. <laughs> well, that's all I have. But you guys, take care and have a good evening. Bye. Bye-bye.